Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is sound. So, how do you actually get your game to play sounds? And there's two ways that you play sounds in Pi Game. The first way is just using the mixer.sound, and the other one is for mixer.music. So, depending on what your needs are, you're going to use different ones. But for the most part, the mixer or the music, right, you can only play one sound. So each time you want to play a sound, you have to load a sound. Whereas uh, that's for music. But then with the just typical sound module, you just assign it to an object and that's it. Now, the music, you basically, the idea of music is you would loop the song. And so it would just constantly play music. Um, but you can also kind of add music to a cue and then play music along in the cue if you wanted. But Anyway, I'm just going to show you guys uh, sound. I'll show you music as well and just how it would repeat. I don't have any music for you guys, but I'll play uh, the sounds that we made. And for the sounds that we made, we have two really high quality uh, sounds here. We've got a boom and an explosion. So let me boom. open up boom here. Boom, boom, boom. That's our boom. And hopefully you guys can hear that well on the microphone. Boom, boom. That is really high quality. And then we have an explosion here. That's our explosion, even more high, more high quality there. Um, so to make those, I literally just made nap noises into my microphone. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So the boom is going to be when the, when the cannon fires, and the explosion will be when the shell explodes. Now for your own sounds, there are a lot of websites that you can go and download sounds from. Um, and or you can make your own sounds in your microphone and be cool like me um, so uh, if you don't have any sounds that you could possibly use then you probably would want to pause the video and find some sounds um, otherwise uh, let's go ahead and get started so uh, so what we want to do first is we need to load up these sounds so we're gonna go all the way to the very top of the script and it's pretty much anywhere up here but we'll just go right here um, basically after pygame.init anywhere uh, what we're going to want, we want fire sound and we want explosion sound. So we have fire underscore sound and that's going to be pygame dot uh, mixer dot sound and then you put the name of the file. My file is boom dot wave and that has to be within the directory of the script otherwise give it the full path. Then uh, we have an explosion explosion sound and that's going to equal pygame.mixer.sound and this is explosion.wave. Uh, okay, so now the sounds are loaded into the game and now we actually have to uh, call them into being. So uh, the first one, boom, is going to basically be triggered by us pressing the space key. And then the other one, explosion, is going to occur when the shell explodes. So when we run the explosion function, easy enough. So now we're going to scroll down to near the bottom where we're pressing our space key here. And um, hmm, you know what? Really, the, the that. This needs to be in fire shell. We need to put it in both, at the top of both fire shells because, um, or I suppose it doesn't really matter. We're gonna paste it twice no matter what. But it really belongs in fire shell. I think that's where we're gonna put it. We're gonna put it in fire shell because that's actually you know the function that corresponds to that sound. So let's go ahead and go up to the first fire shell. And the first fire shell. Um, we'll now run uh, pygame.mixer.sound, oops, that's capital S, dot sound, dot play, lots of dots, fire sound. So that's going to play the fire sound. So let's go ahead and copy that, and we're going to scroll down to the E fire shell, and we're going to paste that as well. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see how we're doing. We'll hit play. All right, ready? Boom. Mm. Oh, that's Boom. beautiful. Oh my goodness. These are just some good Boom. qualities. Boom. Oh my goodness, he hit me good there. Okay, so our boom is working in our game. Now, we want to add the explosion. So the explosion is in the explosion function, which probably above all of these, I don't really know. Let's go up here. Here we are. Explosion. 
And now we just want to add the explosion sound. So pygame.mixer.sound.play. And this one is play explosion sound. Save and run that. And we're ready. Let's try and let's try and win this game. Let's do 85. Mm. Oh, what a perfect shot too. So let's just bring down the eight to about 80 now. Pretty good, pretty good. Hmm. 75. Mm. We're getting this guy. Mm. <laughs> These sound effects are hilarious. Great. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Didn't even stand a chance. Woo! <laughs> Oh man, this game is actually somewhat fun. I like this game more than our snakes game. Uh, okay, so those are sounds, easy enough, and I did promise that I would do uh, a, the music. So I, like I said, I don't have like a great music file, so or at least none that I have like the rights to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you with, I think we'll do the boom. We'll just have the boom like on a, on a repeat. And you can imagine there's a, a lot of fun things you could do. You can like make your own little like mix board thing, you know, like with very, load in the various sounds and you could push them and you could be a, an epic DJ if you wanted. But uh, I'm not a DJ, so I guess we'll, we'll leave that out for now. And uh, so to do music, we would just do pygame.mixer.music.load. And now we load whatever the music is we want to play. So we're going to do boom.wave. And then, H he knows, um, we want to play the music. So to play the music, you've got pygame dot, um, uh, mixer dot music dot play. Then you have some choices in here. If you put, um, if you put negative one, it's infinitely, it's going to play it forever. You can conversely put like five and it'll loop it five times. Um, but let's just do negative one now to have it just play forever. It's a good beat. It's a good beat. We can do some cool stuff with this. Okay, so <laughs> we're going crazy. Okay, so that's the music module, and like that's how you can load in music and either have it loop or there's also a queue for music and all of that. So um, if you're interested in that, check that out. So, anyways, that sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this music load. I guess I'll just comment it out. Um, so anyway, that's that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video.